G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Today we're going to have a look at a very important topic in math, which is called the order of operations. Then on top of that, what we're going to do from there is we're going to have a look at a few of these clickbaity type viral math problems that use, surprise, surprise, the order of operations, some ideas from this particular video. And you'll be able to claim like, I don't know, you're a genius or you're on a certain divide of the internet or whatever like that. So the order of operations is just a set of rules in maths that will tell you the order in which the parts of an equation have to be done. So I'm going to show you the importance of the order of operations by giving you an equation to solve right now. This equation is as follows. 2 plus 3 times 5. Nice and easy. But depending on how you approach this, you might get one of two answers as follows. So first off, you could approach this equation and just go left to right. You could first get 2 and you could add it to 3. Okay, so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Once you've done that, you could then get this entire amount, this 2 plus 3, this 5, and multiply by 5, and you would get the answer of 25. That's one way that you might approach this particular equation. However, there is another way you could approach this equation, and you could say what you're doing is you're getting 2 and adding it to the result of 3 times 5. Okay, so 3 times 5 is equal to 15, and you're getting 2 and adding to it. So 2 plus 15 is equal to to 17. So as you can see, both methods have correct calculations, but by approaching them from a different standpoint, we get two very different answers. So obviously math wouldn't work. If we went through and just allowed two different answers to occur uh, to the same question, we'd have a big problem. So this is why we have this thing called order of operations. And the order of operations is a simple set of rules that tell you the order and which equation must be done so that we all approach an equation the same way and we get common results. So what are these rules? There are four of them and they can be remembered really simply using a couple of different acronyms depending upon where you're from. The first one I'm going to give you is PEDMAS. Uh, and that's something you would use if you're say in the United States. In Australia, we use BODMAS. Okay, means the same thing. We just have different words for the same things uh, in Australia. But let's go through what each of these mean right now. So the very first thing you do would be parentheses or brackets. That's these guys. So in an equation, if something's occurring inside the parentheses, inside the brackets, you would do this first. The next thing you do is you would do any exponents. And sometimes incorrectly in Australia, I've seen teachers call this next letter of but it actually stands for orders, and that's exactly the same as exponents. These are things like squared, squared root, cubed, things like this, okay? The next thing you'd do is any division multiplication, and you would also do these in the order in which they occur. That is, you would do them left to right. The last thing you do is you would do any addition, subtraction. And once again, and you would just do these left to right. And there you go. This is the order. Ped mass. Bod mass. So let's go through a few examples of these and then we're going to get to those viral math questions I told you we're going to have a look at. So let's go through a few examples of these. In this order, we'll have a look at some involving parentheses, then some involving exponents, and then division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, just to get you used to the little uh, subtleties that can occur in this particular set of rules. So first off, let's have a look at this example here. Uh, let's go 7 times 3 plus 2. Now you're going to notice straight away we have multiplication here, we have parentheses, and we have addition. So using ped mass and bod mass, you'll see the very first thing we do is we're going to do the stuff inside the parentheses here. So if we do that, we're going to do three plus two. Three plus two is equal to five. This stage, once we've worked out the stuff in the parentheses, it's pretty common, just get rid of them. Okay, so this leaves us with seven times five. Seven times five is equal to 35. So that's what brackets and parentheses usually just work as. They group things together and uh, it's kind of like everything sitting in a little basket all together. All right, so let's go through one more example using parentheses. Okay, what about we do this particular one? We go three times five in parentheses and we add this to two times four, also in parentheses. How do we go about solving this? Now, it doesn't matter which order you do these parentheses in, but they're going to have to be solved first. Three times five, is equal to 15, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. The addition stays the same here, so 15 plus 8, we get the answer of 23. So that's about how you go using parentheses for this particular rule. Let's get to some more examples, now looking at exponents. Okay, so a nice easy one to start off with. Let's see what 2 times 4 squared is equal to. Just a little refresher, 4 squared here means 4 times 4, which is going to equal 16. So what do we have here? 2 times 16. Our answer is 32. What about one more example of these? Uh, what about another one where we go 
uh, in parentheses, we're going to go 5 times 3 squared, and we're going to add 8 to that. Get a bit bigger now. So what do we do first here? We have our multiplication, we have parentheses, we have exponents, we have addition. Okay, and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the stuff in parentheses here. Okay, so this stuff here. Within the parentheses, we have this exponent. We have ex also multiplication. So we're going to do the exponent first. This is going to leave us with 5 times 9. Remaining in parentheses for the minute, plus 8. So I've just worked out that exponent part of it. All right, now what we do is we, we finish the stuff in the parentheses. Uh, 5 times 9 is equal to 45 plus 8. And we see what this equals. The answer is 53. All right, so just watch out for this parentheses. You can sort of treat them as an equation within an equation. All right, and then you still have to go through those rules once you're in the parentheses about which order you do things. So last of all, we're going to have a look at these final two rules, where we're basically saying we do division and multiplication before we do any addition, subtraction. So let's go back to our very first example, where I asked you what 2 plus 3 times 5 is. And you remember we could either have had the answer of 22 or 17, depending on whether you did it in the right way. So let's go through and now do this particular question here. So we have addition and multiplication, but you're going to see according to ped mass and bod mass, we do division multiplication first. So this part here, the multiplication will be done first. 3 times 5 is 15. This leaves us with 2 plus 15. Our answer was 17. So the correct answer was 17. Okay, so let's go through one more example here before we get to the viral math problems. And... This one's going to be a bit harder. I reckon I'm going to make it a bit harder now. About as hard as they might get, and it's as follows. We're going to use all our operations in this one. So I might give myself a bit of space and get rid of everything so far. All right? Okay, let's do this. Uh, now, we have 8 plus 3 squared. Let's multiply that by 5. Let's take 6 off this uh, times 2 plus 1. From that, we divide by 2. Okay, that's pretty big, right? A whole bunch of nasty stuff going on there. But using order of operations, we can work out what's going on. So first off, what do we do? Anything in the parentheses or brackets. That's this one over here. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. I'm just going to rub this out here, and I'm going to put a 3 there instead. All right, now what do we do? We've got nothing else in parentheses or brackets, so we do any exponents or orders first. Okay, so we have exponents here which is 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So this part here, I can rub out, and I'm going to put a 9 there instead. Now we're going to go through and do any division multiplication from left to right. So we have this particular division multiplication here. We also have 6 times 3 divided by 2. So this entire part here uses division multiplication. So let's go through and solve those. We have 8 plus, now 9 times 5 is equal to 45. We're going to keep that symbol here, the, the subtraction the same, and we do this particular part now, this 6 times 3 divided by 2, as I've said, left to right. So 6 times 3 is 18, divided by 2 is equal to 9. Just watch out for that, you don't do division first or you'll get an incorrect answer. Now what we do is we just do addition, subtraction from left to right. So 8 plus 45 is equal to 53, and from that we're going to take 9. Our answer will be 44. So how'd you go with that? Pretty good? Uh, now we're going to get to these good little viral math questions, okay? So let's give these a go. I'll give you two or three of these ones. Okay, the clickbaity examples. Be careful, these are tricky. That's why they're dividing the internet, okay? So uh, an example of one that I've seen fairly recently is this one here. 8 divided by 2 and in brackets, 2 plus 2. Give this one a go. Don't be too surprised if you've got all this under your belt and you still get this one incorrect because it does have a little trick to it, as you'd expect by uh, something like this. So first off, we're going to do anything in parentheses first. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so what do we have now? We have 8 divided by 2. When they're sitting next to each other like this, it means they're multiplying. Okay, so this is what we have is 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. All right, so that's uh, the answer to this one. But I'm going to show you where people commonly get this one wrong. 8 divided by 2, uh, 2 plus 2. And <laughs> this is where people commonly get this wrong. What they do is, and that's the correct answer here, but this will be the incorrect answer. 
What they commonly do is once again, they do anything in parentheses or brackets first. So they go two times two is equal to four. Okay, so we could almost put that there, put a two there, and we go eight divided by two, uh, two times four. So what they do then do is quite commonly, people just multiply these two together as a matter of uh, just straight away, just do it. That's two times four is equal to eight. So eight divided by eight, they'd get the answer of one, which is incorrect, okay? It's just really, really important here that once you work this out, you realize that these guys have to multiply. And a lot of these are so-called viral uh, dividing the internet sort of math problems have these sort of, of uh, tricks to them. Let's go through another one. All right, this one here, nine take away three divided by a third uh, plus one. And we'll see what that is equal to. Once again, be really careful. So first off, you can see it only has subtraction, division, and addition. So we're going to do this particular part here first. Three divided by a third, what is that? So if you can imagine, in one, if I break it up into thirds, okay, I'm going to do that to three things, okay? How many thirds do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three divided by a third is equal to nine. So, so far we would have this, we'd have nine, take away nine, plus one. Pretty easy now, right? Nine take away nine is equal to zero, plus one is equal to one. All right, how'd you go with that? I can guarantee you there's actually a little chance that I get one of these guys wrong, and there'll be a whole big bunch of arguments that occur in the comment section because, uh, because that's what the comment section's all about. And so what I recommend is if you don't agree with any of these, disagree, comment, get an argument. We'll pin up the debate and we'll uh, see how it goes. But keep it nice, please keep it nice because we're all likely to make mistakes sometimes when we're doing maths. Okay, what about one more of these? Okay, what about this particular one here? We'll go six squared uh, divided by two in brackets three plus four. So you're gonna see once again, it has this particular element of the two things sitting next to each other like this. So let's rewrite that. Let's rewrite that as six squared divided by two times three plus four, and we'll see what that equals. The first thing we're going to do now is we are going to do the exponents. Okay, so what's 6 times 6? Six? 6 times 6 is equal to 36. 36 divided by 2 times 3 plus 4. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do division multiplication left to right. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 times 3 is equal to 54. So this whole part here is equal to 54. 54 plus 4, that's our answer, is going to be 58. All right, I'm sure I'm going to get some disagreements on these guys. All right, what about one more, because I'm a bit of a masochist here, and then I'll uh, sign off for this week. Okay, what about this one? 7 plus 7 divided by 7 plus 7 times 7, <laughs> take away 7. And we'll see where that equals. I have to have a quick look down to remember this one. All right, so what are we going to do first? You're going to say, okay, we do... There's no uh, parentheses, there's no exponents. We're going to do division multiplication first. So we have some here, we have some here. Let's do those first, okay? So 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 7 times 7 is 49. All right, so let's then go. 7 plus 7 plus 49, take away 7. And we can just do this left to right now. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 49 is equal to 57. Take away 7, our answer is 50. All right, so how'd you go with that? All right, uh, I, that was a pretty big video, but uh, hopefully you found that informative. Please, if you don't agree with any of the answers I've got here, and I'm sure there'll be a few people who say they don't, <laughs> put in the comments. But just one further thing, just remember, that's actually not a mistake. Um, if you're looking at this and going, well, you know, it just depends on how you interpret, that's not entirely correct. I don't think so anyway, because realistically, the equation should be written now, because we all follow this order of operations, the equation should be written to fit the order of operations. Admittedly, some of these uh, more viral ones are written in a confusing manner, but that's what they're all about, right? They're there to, to create a discussion and to, uh, you know, get people a little bit interested in math. So I actually don't mind them very much. Anyway, tell us what you thought of this video. Uh, thank you for watching and a big shout out to my subscribers. All right, and stay well out there. Take care. See you next time. Bye.